today is fun history for those out there who are missing their education. Here's a little bit about the humble Stone Age. That was a long, long time ago. Even before your da- I was born, and probably your dad was born, or your mother was born. So that makes it very, very, very old. Early humanoids pinch corpses from killer animals like lions and at scraps. They stone weapons to scrape the meat off the skin and edit it will Then some clever humanoids discovered something important. Stone tools became stone weapons by 700,000 years. A new type of Stone Age tool, the hand axe, was being used. 250,000 years ago, the humans had wooden spears with tips, hardened by fire. By 9,000 BC, the horrible humans had invented bows and arrows. Animals used to run away to save themselves. But unfortunately, the new weapons, along with the human brain, drove these animals into destruction. Now, how would you kill the mighty mammoth? As early as 300,000 years ago, hunters in Spain stampeded mammoths into swamps and botched them. In 18,000 BC, horse hunters in France used an actual cliff as a fall trap. In America, well, roughly before the even President Trump was not around, which is about 10,000 years ago. Even he's not that old. They stamped bison, uh, stampeded bison over cliffs. Well, hundred <laughs> of the American camels and mammoths have been wiped out. American Plains Indians had a bison hunt once a year, an autumn, so they mate for the winter. Plains Indians arranged lines of stones into funnels, then led them onto the cliff and stampeded the bison between the stones. One mistake could scatter the whole herd, and the tribe would starve to death for over the winter. Poor, poor, poor people. Oh, well, if you fancy something weird and wonderful for t- tea tonight, why don't you try and ask your mum, can I have a bit of n- to- toasted tortoise? Native American Indians in Florida. 14,000 years ago, before Disney World, hunted in a steep type of giant tortoise. Ogolocotis found that one of these tortoises with a sharp wooden stake driven through it. This would kill the creature and be useful holding it over a fire to roast. They could be proof the world's oldest barbecue. And not much fun for the tortoise either. It was not much for a dog. The dogs were buried with the same sort of grey goods as their human owners had. Do you enter this axes and flint blades? <laughs> if they were respect that if they were that respected in the death of the death, if they guess they're well treated in a dog life before that. And sometimes if you were living in the Stone Age, you had some really horrible things to eat. Here's one of the nicest dinners I could find for you to try out today for tea. Why don't you go? You need a dinner now, enough to feed the family, a stone knife, a flint to strike a light, and wood for a fire. Catch a bird or animal. Hang around the beast of prey like lions. Wait till they've eaten their fill and taken what's left. But make sure they don't make a snack of you. Light the fire and build it up to a good blaze. And again, once you've got a fire going, it's a good idea to try and keep it going until you need it again. Throw the dead animal on the fire and scorch it till the fur or feathers burn off and the skin is crisp. Pull the animal off the fire, split it open and cut, take out the guts and throw them away. Turn up, tear off flesh and share it around the family. Their meat will be raw and bloody, but don't worry, it makes it all the tastier. And serve with a nice glass of fresh water. Tasty treats. If you were lucky, you could have some cow's udders, blood, feet, brain, lungs, and tongues. They even ate gristle. Some archaeologists is found think that Stone Age's caught animals slit open their stomachs and ate the mule that the animal had swallowed before it was killed. 
Yum, yum. Ooh. Scientists can tell what he plants humans at too by looking under microscopes at stainage poo, or as it's known as coprolite. C O P R O L I T E. We could. That's it, parents. Test them how to spell it later. Want to play a simple game and amuse a young person three and a half million years ago? It began in 1978, which isn't that many years ago, when a group of young scientists were working on their geology dig in Africa. They were having a little game of their own, which involved throwing lumps of elephant poo at one another. One of the young scientists ducked a, sl- lump, ducked a lump of flying elephant poo down, slipped and fell flat on his face. What did he find on his nose? No, not done, elephant done. Some curious dents in the rock. Dents that looked remarkably like footsteps. When the area was cleared, the scientists found two sets of footsteps side by side. They went into the volcano ash that had set hard 3.7 million years ago. When they looked really closely, they saw that the larger footprints and smaller footprints inside. You can guess that a child followed its parents and amused itself by stepping in its father's footsteps. If you fancy getting with a wedding, for this fortune telling game you need to go to Dunadalk in Ireland. You need a pastoric tome and made of three pillars about three feet metres high with thirty ton of slap of rock on top. You notice that the rock slopes. Pick up a pebble and throw it on the roof. If the pebble rolls off, you're safe, but if the pebble stays on the roof, you'll be married within a year. If you fancy a, paint, a paint, power painting, you can do it. You need a bone from a fillet of lamb, a poster paint, a cable, and some bunny shoes. Boil the bone and scrape the marrow from inside so you can ha- make have a tube. Dip the end of the tube in the paint and suck gently. But don't suck the paint into your mouth. Ugh. Place your hand against a cable, blank wall, and take aim and the phone tube at your hand and blow. The paint will spray over your hand and leave the outline of the cable. Other methods? Pick up a lump of coloured iron mono rock and use it as a crown, but painting was most common. They used hair from animals they killed to make brushes. meant to well, did what kind of beliefs do you reckon caveman had well here are ten things that over which one of these is false that they found in caveman graves number one a teeth that have fallen out in life number two a hat of arm three a dead baby four ropes to tie their arms and legs and five a necklace of animal teeth six a live cat seven seashells Eight food, nine flowers, ten a dead dog. Answers all are true except number six. In Yorkshire, an old woman was buried with all her teeth she lost during her life. Not far away from her man, uh, her, a man was buried with his arm being cut off in some sort of fight. The chopped off arm was placed in his shoulder with the fingertips touching his face. A fur grave showed the cement created bones of the child, packed in clay and buried with an adult. The fourth, the ropes that tied up the Roman Stone Age burial may have been an attempt to stop the corpse jumping out of the grave and haunting the family. Five, the jury made sure they looked smart as they wandered around the, the afterlife. And six, well we just made it up because we thought we could. Seven in the Cheddar George England, Good, or even in Cheddar George, gorge Cheddar, you know, cheese, not that kind of cheese, not the kind of cheddar you can eat. A young man was found buried with a necklace of seashells. It must have been collected thirty miles away. 
as his people travelled widely through bi- even though bicycles were not being invented. In late 1823, a skeleton called the Red Lady of Pelaveland was found in Wales by a professor called William Buckland. It was said to be it was a Roman who buried along with bones of animals and drowned in numbers of blood. In fact, the Roman Red Lady turned out to be a prehistoric 23-year-old man, and the red animal bones belonged to a mammoth. A Polish sto- st- uh, caveman was buried with joints of wild cat and beaver, and with his bow and arrows, so he could catch more when, he's, when he scoffed the lot. <laughs> Flowers are placed on graves today. It seems they're used by Nevolios, Vendolos. That's N-E-A-N-D-E-R-T-H-A-L-S. Seven types of flower were found in one bunch of the Turkish border. There's a butterfly buried along with a bunch, probably by accident. In Hungary, an old man was buried with a dog. It must have been his pet. When he was alive, it was killed to keep him company in the next life. It's time to test your teacher, folks. See how much you know. If you score 8 out of 10, you're probably human. 4 out of 7, you are Nefodorel. Score 1 out of 3, you are a chimpanzee. Score nothing and you'll probably need to evolve for a thousand years more. And here is the quiz, people. Archaeologists could tell that what prehistoric Egyptians Waiting 11,000 years ago before the pyramids were built, what did they, they study? A. Egyptian cookery, books drawn on rocks and buried beneath the sand, ancient baby poo, or C. Ancient jawbones of foot, foot, food stuck between the teeth because stone toothbrushes hadn't been invented. 2. Stone Age people made their own paint with iron materials, coloured yellow, red, black, or brown. These powdered paints had to be mixed with liquid before they were painted on the cake wall. What liquid? Mammoth pee? Gooseberry beer, beer, beer? Or blood? What did Cayman use for toilet paper? Moss? Deer skin? Or hedgehog skin? 4. In 1915, Stonehenge Monument was put up for auction. Who bought it and why? A fairground owner who planned to use it in the centre of Stone Age? Theme Park, Cave World, American planned to put it on display in California, a rich man is a present for his wife. 5. How did Bavarian sto- stone men, or okay, aged men, keep their potatoes fresh? Were they where they live in the Andes Mountains? By burying them in a potato pit? By frying them in a llama? In fact, until they had crisps and sealed in them with little llama leather packets. By freezing them, the fossil tooth of an ancient Chinese terminoid was found where? The builders are putting up the great China in a Chinese chemist shop or in a Chinese takeaway restaurant. But they don't go in the park in the background because it's so annoying when you do that. But that's a caveman dog, so please annoy them. When did, they, when did the, the caveman do him even modern humans forget? Keen their teeth? Polish tattoos washed up after dinner. Who was it, who had the first boomerangs? Stone Age Australians, Stone Age North American Indians, modern Australians in 1822. How did Stone Age men, men celebrate the great occasions? By A, by setting off fireworks, by drinking lots of booze, or by wrestling with cave bears? How did Stone How did Stone Age men in Sweden help to deal Help their dead into the afterlife. Scratch a map on the stone to help them show them the way. B left the door to climb open so the spirit would get out. C shoots sparrow, arrows or sparrows in corpses as they lay in the graves. One B most of the plants left behind by priests took it European each Egyptians had rotted away, but after some were reserved because they'd been charred at the campfire. Others, plants were eaten by babies and came out of their poo. The mucky little infants dropped their poo in the camp. Tiny the adults swept the baby poo in the fire, where it was baked hard and preserved. All the old said to do was cut it open and examine it. 
under a microscope. Two, C. Don't try this at school. Mixing powder paints of blood will help them to flow over the wall. And so, left to last over 30,000 years, you, you find your picture are very attractive, mostly to werewolves or vampires. 3A. If you said high your skin, you deserve to try it. A stone age body found preserved on ice had lumps of moss in his woolen grass handbag, and this moss was in his toilet paper. 4C. Civil, civil, Shep was at having breakfast with his wife and mentioned that Stonehenge had been put up for auction that day. Ooh, I'd love to open it, his wife said. Then I put it on an offer. He's doing my husband told her. His offer was accepted and it became Mrs. Chubbs. In, 18, uh, 18, 19, in 1918, Cyril and his wife decided to give the government to the British government to look after. He... We got Stonehenge, he got a knighthood. <coughs> 5C, the Tin Wan Waka, you people. T I W A N A K U of Bolivia lived so high in the Andes that the temperatures dropped to minus 20C at night. The tricky Tin Wan Waka divided their farm fields into narrow strips and surrounded them with water ditch, field ditches. The sun warmed the water during the day, and the warmth felt the f- kept the fields from freezing at night, like a hot water bottle. That allowed them to grow more potatoes than could they could eat at once. So they invented a way of freezing them to eat in the winter months. They sprinkled the potatoes water and left them out at night to freeze, then be preserved. 6B, the tooth that found in Chinese chemist shop in 1899. The century's chemist in China had bought fossil teeth and ground them up to use as men- them and medicine. The chemists believed they were dragon teeth with magic powers. 7a, the skeleton of a paleolithic young man, P-A-L-A-E-O-L-I-T-H-I-C, found in England, showed that he had almost certainly cleaned his teeth regularly. Maybe he had a mum to nag him. <coughs> 8b. In 12,000 BC, Stone Indians in Florida used a boomerang. Archaeologists reckon the American boomerang didn't come back. Bob on. 9a. If you believe in Oxford Museum professor, he reckons Stone Age man made pottery figures about 25,000 years ago. <coughs> At religious ceremonies, they're thrown on a fire and explode. The figures are soaked in water so they could have, make a little what well have take a little while to dry out when they went off. <coughs> they make a frame for work frame for a time to get to safety away. Oh like a modern firework that even tells you the light the blue turf for uh, uh, and retire. And finally for this podcast alone <coughs> Swedes find a weapon arrows in the corpses, though we don't know why. They buried the dead with long loving care in the graves in the earth, and long canoes under water. <coughs> <coughs> and that is the end of Stone Age Fun. Hi, Steve X.